the whole idea of a nature based system is that we should be able to uh, not seal the heat in a space it should be naturally ventilated there is a flow of air so that you are able to uh, create that cycle of the flow of energies and the the wind through the space last summer temperatures in delhi hit a new high with a nighttime low of 95 degrees running air conditioners throughout these hot nights put even more pressure on the grid causing power outages for hours at a time Now some people are looking for more sustainable ways to stay cool. The whole idea is that how can we use these systems to the fullest so that we reduce the dependency on the uh, the air conditioning the mechanical systems. Monish Sirapurapu is an architect and founder of a company called Coolant. Sirapurapu is designing cooling solutions using terracotta that tap into ancient cooling techniques. I visited his studio in a converted horse stable on the outskirts of Delhi. So the structure is inspired by a beehive. So these are earthen cones which are uh, hollow, and uh, the whole idea is that when we pour the water on top of this, these spots these get wet, and you can touch them and see that these are actually like cooler. Yeah, yeah, yeah they are very. And they will cool. And they are cool even though there is no visible water dripping on them right now. You can say so. Can... What we do here is a bunch of lot of experiments. You can see that the system is different, and so this is actually a a place for testing. So this we call as the uh, the binary. binary like the ones and circles in the uh, computational world so we took the inspiration from here where we thought uh, what if this structure is also like a vertical garden and uh, an evaporative cooling system at the same time how was this idea born honestly uh, this is a very uh, traditional idea what we have done is innovated the way that we are applying this but the the idea of the shading and the evaporative cooling and everything have existed for thousands of years yeah matkas that matkas you see and all of these things so what we did in the, in this particular case is that okay now what if we combine uh, evaporative cooling with that what if they also shade and also provide uh, the cooling at the same time mm. so that's where i think we started looking at like how do we combine this uh, the traditional science with uh, evaporative cooling everything else is uh, progression on that idea like how do you take it and keep developing more and more Uh, variations of the same thing. Siri Purapu and his team have completed around 70 installations across the country in homes, public spaces and factories. Structures like this can be installed in windows or as building facades. The only energy they need is to run the water once in a while. When you're talking about climate responsive design, it has to work according to the local climate and the local conditions. It's not like a, a cooler or an air conditioner where I can take it and say that okay, I'm going to put this and it's going to work that way. That's not how nature based solutions work that's the reason why we have developed this multiple variations in the design so that at different places when people are working these can work differently so you would tailor the solution for whatever the client needs whatever the space that they have absolutely that is i cannot say that this is applicable in uh, 100% of the spaces it's not it cannot be but um, it definitely can be tailored to different use case scenarios we talk about sustainability in either this or that like we we think we think extreme the way i see it th- there is no perfect solution one one need not convert 100% to natural or this i think that's more a practical and a pragmatic way to uh, talk about the climate problem like we don't need to uh, air condition 100% of the spaces in a building we can probably uh, use it in essential areas and the rest of the whole building can be naturally ventilated with systems like this with natural systems we may or may not be able to achieve 100% efficiency uh, altogether but it is definitely possible that we can reduce bulk of the load on the mechanical systems instead of using the air conditioners for 8 hours in a day we can use it for 2 or 3 hours when it is extremely peak and use a natural systems for the rest of the time